Hey everybody, it's Skylar. I'm up here in Vermont at the family homestead and enjoying some time seeing the folks and cats and siblings and everybody. So today we're talking about the Abus Plus Disc Detainer Lock. I have a cutaway model here so you can see exactly how I'm going to be attacking it. And I'll be attacking it using Yako Fagerloon's uh, Abus Plus Pick. Really neat tool. The middle piece here is what's going to apply tension on the zero disc, which will put pressure on the sidebar. And when the sidebar drops into the discs, I'll be able to feel and manipulate them with this piece here. Really cool thing about this tool, though, is that it's also a decoder. The striations along the shaft here let us know which disc we're working on. And then these cuts right here line up to another cut along the shaft, which tells us what the depth or what, what the rotation is of each of the discs in the lock. When we have that information, not only will we have the lock open, but we'll also have it decoded, so we can just cut a new key for it or order another key uh, from the internet, as a matter of fact. Okay, so, really cool tool, really cool lock. Let's dig in. Okay, this is our Abus Plus Disc Detainer Lock, cut away so that you can see the interior. There will be one disc just past this side that you can't see with the current cutaway, but that's okay. This is the incorrect key. When inserted into the lock, some of the discs will turn too far, some won't turn quite far enough, but either way, that sidebar can't drop into the lock. So, here then is our working key. The angles of this one turn the discs all to exactly the right spacing so that sidebar can drop into the channel and turn freely. When that happens, this guy opens up for you. Now, picking it, we have Yako's disc detainer tool here. Middle part applies tension on the first disc. Back part actually turns the individual discs. Gonna line our gauge up here. I'm gonna try to tell you what cut number each disc is as I attack it. Okay, first disc in the lock. That is four cut. Having a little, oh, there we go. Two, two, one cut, another four cut, another one cut. This guy is a five cut. And the one in the back here that I'm feeling for, oh, that's a six cut. Okay, and that turns freely for us. And when that turns away, once again, this guy will open right up. There you go. Okay, one more time, quickly. Wrong key. Doesn't allow those gates to line up correctly. Correct key. Everybody lines up perfect, and the whole system can turn away. There we go. Alright, we're bringing the pick back in. Applying tension and manipulating the first disc. Set, 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 set. set. And I feel for this one in the back, and you can feel these. There you go. Just as easy, if not easier, than a pin tumbler lock. There it is. Boom! Abus Plus picked. Um, disc detainers have been one of the most fun things I've done in Locksport in a long time. I'm really excited to get my hands on more and, and start working on more and more of these concepts. The basic idea behind this one, though, is incredibly similar to how they work the world over. So the method of attack is incredibly similar. However, there are some higher security ones out there. Check out the Abloy ProTech if you want to see a pretty crazy, really cool high security disk detainer lock. Hope that was informative and hope all of you are doing well. Talk to you next time. Peace.